So in today's lecture, let's see a few properties of sets. I've just listed down the three main and basic properties of sets. One is commutative property. Second one is the associative property. And the third is the distributive property. Much like addition and multiplication, properties of sets follows these three uh, rules. So let's see how they work. Suppose we have A union B. Commutative property of union of sets means A union B is equal to B union A. Or if you take the case of intersection, A intersection B is equal to B intersection A. We will go through a few examples, numerical examples to make this more clear. But here I just wanted to give you guys a brief idea of what we are exactly going to achieve today. And in the associative property, what this means is A union B union C. So let's put parentheses here is equal to A union B union C. And if you take the case of intersection, A intersection B intersection C is equal to A intersection B intersection C. Distributive property means a union B intersection C. This one is probably slightly complicated. So I have divided this lecture into two parts. This one is the first series part one. And next we'll be looking at part two in which I extensively cover distributive property. So anyway, A union B, A union B intersection C is equal to a union B intersection A union C. Now the other rule is if you have A intersection B union C, this means A intersection B union A intersection C. So let us see how we go about uh, proving these using numerical examples. So let's start with commutative property. Let's consider A is equal to just some set 6, 7, 8 and B is equal to some set 4, 8, 12. Now, commutative property of union of sets means A union B is equal to B union A. So let's see what A union B is. We have to list the union. If you guys don't know how to do this I have a few lectures on this please go back and visit them I will also leave these links in the description below for you guys to check it out so a union B is first let's write all the elements of a six seven eight and then of B without repeating any elements so eight is common again so let's leave out eight and twelve if you want to write this in ascending order, actually I should put these, these parentheses instead of these. So if you want to write this in ascending order, it is 4, 6, 7, 8, 12. Now let's do the same for B union A and see what we get. Write down all the elements of B first. That's 4, 8, 12. 12 and then list out the elements of A without repeating anything. That's 6, 7 and 8 is common. So we leave that. 
let's arrange this in ascending order so that's 4 6 7 8 and 12 as we can see these two here are the same right so this proves that a union b is always equal to b union a now let's see intersection of uh, sets let's see how the commutative property works there so intersection okay so we do a intersection b is equal to b intersection a let's see what this is first so a intersection b whatever the common elements are we have to list them out so let us see what the common elements are at this point we see that 8 is common so let's list out 8 and if you do B intersection A same thing you put B and A below each other and see what the common elements are again there's no change there so it is still 8 so we see that it's the same again right so this means now let's see another uh, another uh, property which is the associative property first again let's do union union of sets okay so in this case we saw that it means a union b union c is equal to a union b union c let's just take an example of a is a b actually let's do another example let's do a numerical example so you guys understand that better a is one two three four b is 3, 4, 5, and 6. C is 6 and 7. So what is A union B? Let's list out A first. 1, 2, 3, 4. And then let's list out B without repeating anything. So we see that 3, 4 are common. So we'll not repeat those. 5 and 6. Now A union B union C that means first we list out these here that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and then list out C without repeating. So 6 is repeated we leave that out that's 7. Now we do the same with the right hand side RHS so let's just say this is LHS, which means left hand side. So for RHS, let's do another color. So we don't mess this up. First, we got to do B union C. What is that? B union C, first you list out B, 3, 4, 5, 6. Sorry. And then you list out C without repeating. So 6 is repeated. We leave that out. That's 7. Now let's do B union C, but with A union. That means first we list out A, which is 1, 2, 3, 4. And then we list out B union C without repeating. That's the key. 5, 6, 7, which is RHS. Now if you compare these two, they are the same. So LHS is equal to RHS which proves that union of sets follows the associative property. Now let's see the intersection of sets if it still follows the same thing. The rule is A intersection B intersection C is equal to A intersection B intersection C. 
So let's first do A intersection B. A intersection B is 3 and 4, just the common elements. And now we do intersection of this with C. We see that there are no common elements, right? So it's a null set, which can also be written this way. Next, we do B intersection C. Only common element is 6. So that's it. And now A intersection B intersection C is, what is it? There is no set again. That's a null set. This is LHS. This is RHS. Therefore, LHS is equal to RHS. Now, this again proves that intersection of sets holds good for uh, associative property also. That's it for this lesson. Uh, thank you guys for watching. If you have any comments on the way I'm teaching these, please let me know in the comment section below. If you like this video, give it, a, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I will be uploading more videos as I find time. Uh, if you guys want to see some new topics, share with me. Let me know. If you think this video is going to help your friends out, please share it with them. Thank you all.